Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your goals in PeopleBox. First, let us quickly see how the page is organized. On the left, first that you see is your company level goals. Next is your goals, the goals that you are working on. Then comes people. This is a list of people in your company whom you closely work with or you want to track their goals. You can add team members here to track. This is followed by the individual teams or the departments. You can also add any teams to track here. On your right, you can see all the quarters where all these goals have been created. You can just scroll through to find all the previous quarters goals very easily. All right, let us see how to create a goal. Our goal setting system is based on the OKR framework but any other goal framework like SMART would work perfectly with PeopleBox. Let us write an ambitious goal and set some owners to it. Note that the owners will be notified through Slack and email when you assign them goals. Next comes the most important part. How do you want to measure the progress? We have five ways to measure the progress. The first one is a default progress, starting from zero till 100%. This option has a special property to auto-update the key results or align goals. I'll show you more on that later. Next comes custom percent. This could be used for any specific percent that doesn't go from zero to 100%. Good examples are increasing conversion rate or reducing a churn. Then comes number. This could be any unit or KPI. Examples are active customers, your CSAT score, your NPS scores. All these things go on inside this number. Then we have dollar. This is pretty straightforward. Any revenue goals can be set here. You can also have decreasing dollar goals like reducing your burn. Finally, we have a binary goal. This is a simple whether this goal is done or not. This is best suited for, say, you want to launch a product or you want to hire someone. These sort of goals are best suited for binary goals. After that, you can set the scope of this goal, whether this is an individual, department or company-wide. So if you choose a department, you can choose which department it belongs to. Let me go ahead and choose company-wide. You can also align the goals from right here. I'll talk about that later. Now let us add some specific key results to make sure that this goal is measurable and actionable. One of the most useful features of the goals is to align these goals together. Goals can be nested to several levels to make sure that even the individual activities of the employees can be linked to the overall goals of the company. We can also add linked goals directly from the button here or aligning them manually. Once your goal is created, every week the owners of the goals will get a notification over Slack and email to check in the progress. Once they are checked in, if the parent goals are measured using default progress, the progress cascades to the parent goals automatically. Let me show you how. This makes it extremely easy for a business leader to break down their goals and make sure that the team is making progress towards the right direction. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you to understand how the goals feature works within PeopleBox. Please try it out and share your feedback.